Tesla claimed it didn't have key data for a fatal car crash, but that a hacker found it. Let's talk about it. In 2019, a Tesla on autopilot hit a young couple in Florida, killing one of them and seriously injuring their boyfriend. The driver admitted he looked away from the road to grab his phone, but the victim's families argued that Tesla's autopilot system also played a role in the tragedy. They believed the car's internal collision snapshot data, which records all of the car's cameras, sensors, and the thinking that the autopilot has done, would have proved critical, which, uh, yeah, obviously, I don't even know why that was a questionable thing. Tesla claimed the dog ate my data, your honor. Then a dramatic twist, an online Tesla hacker known as Green The Only, managed to retrieve it from the car's computer while sitting in Starbucks, which is just a baller move. I just imagine him sitting there having his pumpkin spice going, oh yeah, I will hack a Tesla today. So what do we learn from this? Well, we learn that Tesla lied, which is a first. I can't believe a company that Elon runs would do that. And secondly, we learned that the data showed that the system had detected the pedestrians, but still plotted a path directly through them. Once more for the people at the back. The system saw the pedestrians and still decided that they were expecting at the trial in Miami, Tesla insisted that the car crash was the driver's fault, arguing that the autopilot requires human supervision at all times, which is such a piss poor excuse, I'm surprised they could say it with a straight face. The jury found that Tesla is 33% liable and awarded the plaintiffs $243 million in damages. That's billion with an M. The judge ruled that swastikas didn't deliberately conceal evidence, but the company was ordered to pay the costs of retrieving all of the data. Tesla's obviously going to appeal this and has described the verdict as flawed. If you want to learn more about self-driving cars, where they came from, why Google and Elon are so keen to get them on the roads as quickly as possible, and the trolley problem which looks at this exact eventuality, you're going to love this video which you can find on my YouTube channel which is linked in my bio. This is a great time to remind people that the main reason Elon wanted to run Doge was to neuter all regulatory agencies investigating his companies, including Tesla, SpaceX, and X. Given Elon is pushing so hard for self-driving cars and been promising for years that it will be a feature of all Teslas going forward, it's very apparent this sort of data is incredibly important. It's the car version of the black box data that you get in a plane crash. But don't worry, since I started making this video, there's been quite a lot of sanctions and legislations that have come into play against Elon and Tesla. 